we are recording. Okay, now that is what happens when you hit a carbon crystal with a laser. See what I mean? That is carbon, and that's carbon-14 giving off electrons like bilio there, and and so and the, all carbon crystals do not look the same. That does not mean they are not carbon. It forms in the cubic system, crystallization system, and like this one, you can find the three axes. One, two, and three on the the uh, crystal. This um, this one right here has one, two, three, and you can see the all the axes right there, okay. and that is indeed one of the z-axis of that stone and it, the other ones appear and you can see this one yeah it, it looks like the corner of a box and that is the cubic crystallization of carbon and it creates rows and columns of carbon atoms because they're all the same size. And so you get planes of cleavage inside the crystal structure. And that's what that stuff is in there. There's nothing in there at all. It's the planes of cleavage that you see. And they all line up on these, on the z-axis. This one, right here. Um, I can move it around. And you can, uh, you can see that there's a star right, right inside of there. And that forms when uh, all of the planes of cleavage are opening outwards. Uh, so the bottom of the stone is the one that I use for cutting. I, I would put this way up, and, and you can see that the, uh, the rainbows in there are really good this direction. And they aren't the other directions. They don't do that. They sparkle, but they don't make rainbows. And that has to do with the orientation of the z-axis. Okay, so, so when I show you a cut stone that is cut, so that uh, that z-axis is right square in the middle. And you can see that it's... Uh, <coughs> right square in the middle there. And it gives you four or five or... 32 or 64 or 96 or... Um, however many facets there are back there, probably 96, something like that. This is a nice one. And that's what that is. You're seeing different uh, uh, orientations of the planes of cleavage. Um, and they are arranged very in a very orderly uh, 
fashion because the carbon crystal, carbon atoms are all the same size. So they make perfect little rows and columns and they are bound together by a double, double covalent bond. That's why diamonds are so very, very hard, very, very sparkly, and do a whole bunch of other really cool stuff, like get secondary colors. See the yellow in there? That's a secondary color. As the, as the light hits the uh, facets and moves through the stone, it slows down appreciably. And so the, the colors red shift from maybe yellow towards red in this case. And we've got a um, kind of a wide range of reds and, and yellows and oranges in there. And that's what it's from. It's from the the light slowing down inside the stone. And they glow because of the presence of carbon-14. Carbon-14 is the radioactive isotope. And that double-double covalent bond holds each atom in place into in the crystal lattice so the uh, the radioactive isotope carbon 14 is bound together along with the carbon 13 atoms in an unbreakable double double covalent bond with all the other atoms in the stone Right? All the other carbon-14 atoms and, and all of the regular carbon atoms, and, and they share their outer valence electrons with each other. And so when we, uh, when we shine a light on this, it starts those carbon-14 atoms emitting electrons. And they, they, they have this, uh, not only their own four in the outer valence orbit, but all the other carbon atoms too. And so they spit out electrons one at a time forever. And ever, and ever, because um, that's what radioactive things do. Uh, the half-life is about 5,000 years. <coughs> so in about 5,000 years, this will be about half as sparkly as it was before. No, actually, I don't think that the, the radioactive decay is going to uh, be able to lose enough mass to, to get rid of, the, they have an extra uh, neutron in their nucleus, and um, that mass has to be eliminated for it to be stable at carbon-13. So it's spitting out electrons because the, um, the proton is uh, locked in place. So, radioactive blue, and now you know why. 